of that not recording the whole time? Mother- Apologies make lousy parachutes. Alright, I guess we could try that again. Alright, welcome, welcome, welcome to another Wolf Garage Bowl. Like as always, I am your host, Lone Wolfer, and I am on my girl Bonnie, Bella, Dinah, and yeah. Uh, I just had an adventure where I'm pretty sure my camera shit the bed because uh, I ended up on a fucking dirt road in Chester, Connecticut which I never actually expected. You guys have not seen much from me other than some shorts and like one or two vlogs uh, because uh, some of you know I am a high school wrestling coach and the season runs from the end of November to the beginning of March and we have finally called it quits for the year. Uh, we had some... Uh, some wonderful highs, uh, a couple low points, uh, but that is expected. Uh, we had some injuries, including some injuries to the coach right here. Uh, I may or may not have broken my thumb. Um, I definitely dislocated it at least twice. Um, both times uh, were by uh, one of my captains uh, because he just really likes to beat the shit out of me. Um, not sure why. I I thought he liked me. I made him a captain. How can you not like me? I made him a captain of my wrestling team. And this is how he repays me. By breaking his coach. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, both times were accidents. Uh, wrestling is a very dangerous sport. Yeah, I hurt my thumb pretty bad. Um, haven't been able to ride a whole lot. And it's been winter time, which sucks. And I uh, hurt my knee. Uh, my bad knee. Uh, so there's also that. I am getting old and getting old sucks and my knees are getting older faster than I am. But there is a chance that I may not be finished with coaching. There is a shortage of coaches at the school where I work and I may be stepping into the role of JV coach for the lacrosse team. Because I am very good at telling kids to run and if JV coaches are good at anything, it's telling kids, get running. But yeah, I, I do really enjoy coaching, and I think this would be a wonderful opportunity not only for me to continue coaching, but uh, also maybe to recruit some more kids to wrestling, or vice versa, maybe convince some, some wrestlers to join the cross. Maybe not my captain, because he might try to hurt me again. But why I have gathered all of you here today is actually to discuss my plans for the next year revolving around motorcycles, motorcycles, motorcyclicals. Because I am a motorsexual and I love motorcycles and I want to do motorcycle shit. So the first thing that uh, is on the agenda and that we have actually made plans for is the She-Wolf and I are going to be attending Americade. Yes, that is correct. For the first time ever, I will be going to the Americade rally. Uh, I did uh, a little bargaining with one of the inns up in Lake George, right on Lake George, a few blocks away from uh, the rally headquarters are going to be for Americade. Um, I did some bargaining with them and I got a room for two days. I will be there the first to the third with the shoe wolfer. Uh, it should be a wonderful time, um, but I have been doing a lot of research because I love research, I love reading, I love learning, I love expanding my mind, I love, I love finding out new viewpoints. Just learning, I love learning. But yeah, I've uh, learned that uh, many of the things up there that uh, I kind of take for granted from other motorcycle rallies are not free. Uh, supposedly I have to pay to get into the headquarters area so that I can go actually do the number one thing I want to do when I go there and that is demo rides. Because Americade boasts that they have the most amount of manufacturers there providing demos of their motorcycles. And I plan to take a whole hell of a lot of advantage of that. Like, a lot. That's what I plan to do and pretty much like all day the first day, I think. That's that's my plan. Um, it, it depends on what the She-Wolfer wants to do, but I think I'm gonna, you know, maybe exercise like some of my will and make it so that we just demo bikes like all day like all day. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing Americade. Uh, I am looking forward to it. I'm a little, you know, uh, hesitant about the whole, like having to pay for stuff, like going to the headquarters and like attending some of the events. Um, I know they have a lot of speakers there and I would like to, you know, maybe go listen to some people talk. One of the folks from my favorite podcast, Motors of the Misfits, uh, was at 
the Americada rally last year and she spoke. Her name is Liza Miller. Um, I am not sure if she's going to be attending again this year. I have not heard anything on uh, their podcast concerning that. But if any of them show up, I will happily go listen to them talk. That would be kind of wonderful if that uh, that, that happened. Uh, but aside from that, I am not sure. Um, I might I might have to play it by year, but but in bigger news, bigger news, I will be going to Laconia Motorcycle Week for my tenth year in a row. That is correct. Ten years running. I have been attending Laconia Bike Week. Now some of you are like, that ain't shit. That is bad nothing. Uh, well, for me it's a big deal. But in even bigger news, it is the 100th anniversary of the founding of Laconia Bike Week. So this is the 100th Laconia Bike Week. And I'll be there. Uh, I am not sure if uh, the She-Wolfer will be attending, actually. Um, that is still still in discussion. Uh, and that will become more clear when we get closer to the end of this particular vlog. So I will be going up there uh, Tuesday the 13th, um, if not Monday the 12th. Uh, I have not actually made a decision on that. Uh, the high school that I work at, graduation happens to be on that Monday, but the biggest news, the biggest news is that Anthony C. Roberson and Scooter Wolf will also be attending Laconia Bike Week, the New England Moose Hunt may be riding again. The reason I say the New England Moose Hunt may be riding again is because we haven't actually chosen or decided on or settled on if we're going to call it, you know, the New England Moose Hunt, or if we might try to hunt something even more elusive. Oh, what could be more elusive than a moose? The creature I have never seen in all my years of living in fucking New England, of all the time that I've been going to Laconia Bike Week and going to Maine and New Hampshire and Vermont, Oh, oh, there are two things. There are two creatures that are way more elusive than a moose. One of them being Bigfoot. The other being the turd wolf. So yeah, we're not actually sure what we're gonna call this, um, but I will have, uh, I'll have a new t-shirt design ready for that once we have settled on a name. And yeah, I am very much looking forward to seeing my internet friends again in real life. Yeah, so that is gonna be wonderful. The three of us are gonna be up there from the 13th to the 17th. Uh, we're gonna be staying at a condo this year up on the Kank in Lincoln. But yeah, we actually wanted a few more creature comforts this year than uh, what I had last year camping the whole time. Uh, however, I do plan on staying two extra days after they leave because sadly they have jobs and lives that they have to get back to and long rides ahead of them to get back to those lives. But I live in New England and it's only like a four and a half, five hour ride for me. So I will be staying up there two extra days and I will be staying at my favorite place, the Barn Door Hostel and Campground. If you have never looked it up, but you are traveling to New Hampshire, I highly recommend hitting up Dave and his wonderful property, the Barn Door Hostel and Campground, as they have some awesome options between the hostel, multiple different camping options, and, and the Barn Door Bus, which the She-Wolfer and I stayed in last year. And it was awesome. It has a fireplace inside. It's super romantic and cozy. You should do it. Uh, I am not sure if the shoe wolf will be joining me for those two days or not and that is because there's a possibility that we will be traveling to the midwest to the land of cheese and harley davidson's that is right we are possibly going to be going out to wisconsin uh my wife's mother's family is having their reunion and obviously we are invited but the reason why it's kind of up in the air and why we're whether or not we're going is you know securing enough time off from work and i had already planned out the americade trip and the laconia bike week for myself 
So she may not attend that so that she can take the time off from work to go to her family reunion. And I may not go to the family reunion for a few reasons, uh, not really because of work or like that, because guess what, I'm my own boss and I'm kicking myself out of the office if my other responsibilities do not interfere. Um, my other responsibilities, I mean some coaching obligations that I may have been roped into um, and some other things that uh, we're still, we're still discussing in the Lone Wolf or Garage. So there's a whole lot of things going on. If I do happen to go out to Wisconsin this year, I do want to make it a point to visit Harley Davidson HQ and go to the museum because uh, Milwaukee is not very far away from where we're going to be. And uh, yeah, the fact that Alice Cooper schooled us on how it's actually supposed to be pronounced Milwaukee, I just want to go. And now I want to watch Wayne's World 2. Uh, that's what I have planned for the year. Uh, I would love to hear what kind of motorcycle shenanigans you have penciled into the calendar for the year. Anything that, uh, you know, might not be in writing either. Uh, obviously, I know some people have secrets. But if you can tell me about it, I'd love to listen. Or if you want to make a vlog about what your plans are for the year, I'd love to hear that. But yeah, I just love motorcycles. I love watching vlogs about motorcycles, reading about motorcycles, reading about motorcycles, being told stories about motorcycles. I fucking love motorcycles. So yeah, tell me about the year. What's going to happen for you folks out there? If you like this one, give it a big old thumbs up. If you don't, keep on trucking. And if you have not subscribed, you should do it. It's fucking free.